the Magpies bounced back from three straight defeats to inflict a 5-1 hammering on Cleveland Town here at the Barter Card Cuthbury this afternoon. When we arrived we heard that uh, Jason Harville had suffered an injury in, in training on, on Thursday and so young Ben Field for the second Saturday in the row was between the sticks for the Magpies. Jack Lupton replaced Billy Maybury and uh, Steve Cuss sprang a surprise by playing a formation with three at the back with Jack Lupton just in front of them in the, in the role that uh, James Stokoe usually plays with James moving forward to partner uh, Mark Gamble in a 3-5-2 formation George Webb out in the right wing whereas recently he's been playing through the middle of, of midfield The first half was a largely scrappy affair but the key moment came on 33 minutes when a free kick to Wimborne in the centre circle was nodded on by John Blake and there was George Webb to, make, to control it well and fire an unstoppable shot past the, the Cleveland keeper. So one nothing at half time and probably just deserved on, on, on pressure for, for Wimborne. Jack Lupton was injured shortly after the restart and he had to go off and Billy Maybury came on in a one for one uh, swap, Billy playing just in front of that back three. The key goal came on 54 minutes and it was Mark Gamble that got himself back on the score sheet. George Webb played a nice 1-2 with James Stokoe which set uh, Webby free on the right and his cross when it came in along the ground, Mark Gamble was first to get to it, he slid in and pushed it past, past the, the Cleveland keeper. And nine minutes later it was Gamble again to make it 3-0. Tricky work by uh, Sam Griffin out on the left-hand side, made space for himself, fired in a fierce right-hand shot, uh, right foot shot, and when the keeper spilled it, there was Gamble, first to the ball to score. Steve Cuss then brought on Matt Kemble for Jamie Davidson. Matt uh, went up front to partner Mark Gamble with James Stokoe going back into the midfield. And on 76 minutes, Matt scored the goal of the game. He was given the ball by Mark, Kim, Mark Gamble out, out left. He transferred it to his right foot, looked up, picked his spot in the goal and curled a lovely right foot shot over the keeper and just in at the far post. Cracking goal from Matt Kemble. Clevedon, to their credit, never gave up and probably had more chances when they were 4 nothing down than they'd had before that. And they got their reward on 80 minutes when their skipper Kai Mountford had a fierce right foot shot from a free kick that beat Ben Field at his left hand post. But it was Wimborne who had the last laugh on 89 minutes, a corner from the left came in, confusion in the Cleveland defence, headed up in the air and there was Max Brimson when the ball came down to nod it into the net from about two inches out. Well done Max, his first goal for the club. Um, Steve Cuss tells me that um, Steve Cuss tells me that Jack Lupton picked up that injury and he'll probably be out for the, the Tuesday match at Poole Town, but apart from that, a clean bill of health for the Magpies today and no bookings. This is a super performance from Wimborne and one they needed after three defeats in a row. Next up for us, it's the Red Insure Cup match at Poole on Tuesday and a very important game here at Bartercard Cuthbury in the FA Trophy against Godalming Town next Saturday. We hope to see you there. Joined now by Steve Cuss after the 5-1 win over, over Cleveland Town. Steve, um, after three defeats on the trot, you must be relieved to see that score. Yeah, that was the most important thing I think I said to the players today. You know, it's one of those games. It was a must-win game for us today. You know, off the back of three straight defeats, playing at home, we, we had to win today. And, um, you know, we did that. I thought we ground it out first half, got ourselves into the game. You can see we were lacking a little bit of confidence first half, but so as soon as the second goal went in, you can see the confidence was returning and I thought we finished it really well in the, in the last sort of 25 minutes. And you sprang a couple of surprises with the formation, pushing James Stoke up front and playing as far as I can see a three-man defence with Jack Lupton in that hole that uh, James Stoke usually, usually occupies. What was the thinking behind that? Yeah, I, it, was, it was thinking about being positive, you know, I've, you know, off the run of three poor results so I wanted to be positive and uh, I just felt that Mark needed a little bit of support up there and um, been lacking a little bit of support in recent weeks so um, to push James up there gives us another option then of, of playing into feet or, or playing into the space and uh, that worked nicely today as well and um, the three lads at the back I thought defended well because at, at times you do get one on one and, and when you play that system and they defended well and um, you know it was enough for us to get some bodies forward and get some goals so I thought it worked well today yeah. George Webb's been playing through the middle uh, middle of the mid midfield recently but you pushed him out wide and uh, it was George that made the breakthrough, a breakthrough that we needed to make I think on 33 minutes. Yeah, I was, I was delighted with George today, you know, I've 
he started off the season really well. I've had a conversation with him today, and um, you know, he's the first in sort of like eight games. He was almost unplayable at times in terms of creating chances for, for the rest of the players, and for whatever reason, that the last three or four games that hasn't happened. So the focus was on scoring goals and creating chances, and I thought we did that you know, brilliantly today. He, he was scored the first one. He played great little one-two with Stokesy for the second one to set up Mark so you know I was delighted for George today but back at his very best Great to see Gamble getting back on the score sheet that will yeah. done his confidence no, no, no end of goodness yeah. it doesn't it doesn't matter who you are if you miss games through injury or you miss training sessions it just takes a little bit of time to come back and you know Mark missed a bit of early season football and I just think he's finding his feet back into it again today but again you saw what it was all about if, if it bounces off the keeper and Mark Mark's going to be the one to tap it in and, uh, delighted with him to get two goals Today and hopefully he can go on a bit of a run now. And goal of the game from Matt Kemble, who's been very patient waiting for this chance. Well, yeah, I think you know Matt's Matt's been injured and he was unavailable for a couple of games and he come back in and uh, I think that was a real bonus for me today was that I was probably only missing Jason through through injury today, so I had options off the bench and being able to bring Billy on um, when Jack got injured and then bring, being able to bring on that fresh pair of legs that I talk about a lot up front for the last 20, 25 minutes. You can see it, you know, their 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 defenders were getting tired and you bring Matt on, he's full of energy and wants to run in behind and uh, as you say he took his goal superbly well. You mentioned Billy, you brought Billy on for Jack and, and played him in that same position in front of the back three. I think he played there against St Austell, it might have been a link him in that position. Yeah, well Billy's full of energy and um, you know we go box to box in that midfield and it's an area that or position that you can play, you know, very comfortable. He's a little bit unlucky today. I think he probably just needed a rest. He played a played a number of games and once I decided it was free at the back today, it was it was Billy that unfortunately missed out. But like I say, having him having him off the bench and able to come on, I thought he did exceptionally well as well. And uh, it's certainly a, a position that we're considering for. Was Jack injured when he went off, or was it tactical? No, he was injured. He mm. picked up uh, picked up a, a knock um, off the ball. It was, and um, you know he's uh, he's going to be a down now for Tuesday. That's a shame. Finally, the third year substitutes, Max, Max Brimson, getting on the score sheet. Yeah, absolutely delighted. It was uh, kind of like one of those substitutions that I thought their number nine was quite bright. Mm. And, uh, I thought the game was won, so let's put Max in there to shore it up a little bit and be a bit more defensive minded and he comes up and pops up with a goal. So but again delighted for Max because he's been in, in the promoted to the first team squad. He hasn't started many games but you know he hasn't come knocking on the door and throwing his toys out as such. You know, he's he's patient and uh, you know I've got a lot of time for Max and think he can play a number of positions and for sure he'd be needed this season. Lovely day here, decent crowd, good win. Well done Steve. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.